Good afternoon, I'm Sajay Laharlow. And I'm Melissa Sagara, and this is Wolfpack News for Wednesday, May 14th, 2014. The school year is almost over, and you may have library books to return. Drop your books off in the LRC or look for the red drop boxes in the halls. Seniors vote for the Senior super Superlative Awards this week at lunch or in Mrs. Kelvey's room. Winners will be announced at the Senior Brunch on Friday. Clinics and auditions for students wishing to be members of the Color Guard are taking place next Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 6 to 8 p.m. All interested students should use door 3 and arrive to the band room by 6 each evening. Past experience is not necessary to be a member. Wear comfortable clothing, gym shoes, or dance shoes, but please, no jeans. See Mrs. O'Neill in the band room, B141, with questions. Wolfpack News will be back after this message. What's, what's that smell? Oh my god, that's, that's disgusting. Elijah, you smell really bad. I hope that wasn't rude. Uh, uh, no. If you if you smell bad like Elijah, then you should try wearing deodorant. Before I used deodorant, I had no friends. Now I wear deodorant. I wear deodorant. After gym class, I love to spray my armpits with deodorant. What happens is when you work out in gym, when you're trying real hard, what happens is you start to sweat a lot in your armpits and uh, you secrete a lot from a lot of your excrements. The reason why this happens is to cool your body off naturally. But what this also does is it also makes your body smell really bad. So where, by wearing deodorant, you actually stop some of the sweat and you actually make the sweat smell good. You actually make yourself smell good in the process of sweating. A lot of times before and after gym class, students forget to put on deodorant and it's really gross. I should really wear deodorant. Wear deodorant. Deodorant is really important to do. I'm a sweaty boy. Seniors, if you'd like your English portfolio, stop by the E280 English Department offices and see Mrs. Howerton, or an English teacher will give it to you. If you currently have an English course, that teacher has your portfolio and can give it to you as well. Students enrolled in AP European History next year, you must pick up a green packet and return the last sheet with a signature by next Wednesday to Mrs. Renz. And now it's time for sports. Here's Heba. There's a mandatory meeting that all students that plan on playing football in the fall tomorrow at 7.05 in the new gym. All wrestlers, there's a brief mandatory meeting after school on Tuesday in the wrestling room at 2.35. Please be there for important information. The varsity softball team is holding a fundraiser game on May 20th for Mandy Beatham, a fifth grader in Yorkville who was diagnosed with lymphoblastic lymphoma in February. Mandy is a cheerleader, basketball player, and a softball player. Please come out to watch the team play Plainfield South. Enjoy a cookout and help, help out by making any donations to the family. Donations can be anything from a small monetary donation to gift cards left over from the holidays. Any questions, please see Mrs. Nussel. Boys, boys and girls interested in running cross country, there's a mandatory meeting regarding summer running and the fall season next Wednesday at 7 a.m. In, in room B250. See Coach Cook or Coach Milner if you have any questions. That's the latest in sports. Now back to the Anchor Desk. That's today's edition of Wolfpack News. I'm Sajay Laharlow. And I'm Melissa Segarra. Join us again tomorrow on East TV Channel 16. Thanks for stopping by, Wolves, and have a great day.